face that this world has What is up guys and of course welcome back to an episode of who was really better and this week we're looking upon the gen 1 rocking ground types that are actually the only ones introduced in the whole game till this generation generation 7 they haven't been revised so of course right here has been introduced as of course an upgrade to right on but outside of that rock and ground are a very 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 exclusive typing Golem and Rhydon are the only full evolved Pokemon with this typing. We also have Onyx to actually complement to that, though then again, Onyx, kinda bad. Kinda bad, I won't really necessarily deny that. And as a whole here, these Pokemon have been on par with one another since Gen 1 because they shake each other's issues really, really, really well. They do just similar to one another and as a whole has made these two rivals. And it's of course up to me today to actually go over their stats, abilities and move pool to see in the end of this video, of course, of who is really better. Now, first and foremost, let's go over their typing because it's a very, very exclusive club. One might never say this in Generation 1, of course, because basically these were statured Pokemon as being two of these. Yeah, kind of, kind of like Lost Ring, but now they they are the they are the meta they are just the, <laughs> the Pokemon that have this type of combination, and it's a double-edged sword in many ways. Ground and Rock are one of the type of combinations in the game that are the most powerful one. Uh, hits most things very very super effectively. Very few things deals with this, and um, we basically count it down to the floating um, steel Pokemon to be able to capitalize on this. That's about it. It hits at least neutral on everything. So it's a very strong combination, but we also have a plethora of weaknesses in born with this, but also have a very, very much resistances. So it's very good to just go over that. As a ground type, you have the immunity to, of course, the likes of Electric. Uh, strongly reverses Poison, which is very good for, of course, casual meta you can be faced with Poison in mind. Uh, it resists Firefly, Normal, and Rock. So actually, this is only the type of combination that actually are resistant to other rock type damage. That should definitely be implemented here since the rock Pokemon actually takes neutral from other rock Pokemons. Now, with that said, we have a lot of weaknesses, and a lot of these are definitely worth capitalizing on and watch out for. Uh, in the lives of fighting, ground, ice, steel, but are very weak to grass and water. So very, very many hits can do, actually annihilate you, but at the same time, you do resist a lot of things here, and it's worth capitalizing on it. While these Pokemon have a very tough combination, they also, it's, like I said here, a very, very good one in general, and can be easily capitalized on. So with that said, let's go over their stats. So when it comes to the stats, they actually are fairly similar, and they've been on par with, with another due to this very reason, because they do similar things and have similar stats to do the things they do. Uh, first of HP on Golem, 80 versus 105, so yeah, right on just when this round and also on attacks that we have 120 on Golem, which is very high, but Rhydon pushes that boundary a little bit more, 130, but then of course Rhydon has 120 in defense versus Golem's actually 130 in its defense, so it's clearly more bulkier. Same with special attack, it doesn't necessarily matter, but Golem has more special attack distribute than Rhydon does. Uh, when it comes to special defense, also here, Golem has 65 versus 45, so Golem has a lot more special defense to actually capitalize it and dealing with special defensive uh, damage output on it. And of course, because of speed here, Golem is more NASCAR than Rhydon, not by a whole lot, but 45 versus 40 is a very, very good speedster between these two because there are slower Pokemon and these are the Pokemon they usually deal with really well or soak very well from offensive threats. Now with that said, it's very clear that while Golem has lower in its HP due to the, of course, extra defenses, both in special defense and regular defense, it is just as capable as Rhydon as, as of course, soaking hits due to these extra stats actually uh, applying to just that. So if, one could stretch it, one could say the ride on those extra HP can take Nightshades and Sesame Toss better and does have a more physical, hard-hitting attribute. When it comes to defenses as a whole, they are kinda the same there, but Golem is faster. So as a whole, I would say the ride on is the stronger threat, while Golem is the one that's able to actually deal with more situations due to its extra speed and more mixed bulk. 
But all in all, they are pretty much the same, which is both a good and a bad thing. As I said before, and I'm gonna say it over and over again, they are rivals because of this very reason. Because they do pretty much the same thing. Uh, now with that said, they have abilities here. The abilities are what kind of differentiate between these two Pokemon a lot. Uh, but at the same time, they are also one of the worst abilities in the game, if you consider that they all got three abilities. And they all three are kind of meh in this environment. First of all, we have Rockhead. Rocket is the only one they do share, and they both actually don't get head smash, which is really, really, really bad, because you only are able to capitalize on the likes of Double Edge and Takedown, and trust me, with a ground rock combination, you don't need a filler, more, filler move actually at all, and um, yeah, it just comes out as really, really redundant. Now that we look at Golem overall here, we have Sandwheel, with Raise Your Evasion by 10, which could be usable, but at the same time here, you're more often than not going to go with Sturdy. Sturdy is, of course, a fake focus dash for if you're a full HP and they hit a move that's going to hit you super effectively and kill you, you will survive 1 HP. And this could be better for Golem as a possible lead. It means that whatever happens, you're going to survive it. And it does work in Golem's favor here. Now, with that said, uh, looking at Rhydon here, outside of the rocket, as I mentioned before, we have the Lackluster in the Lightning Rod. Now, here's the thing with Lightning Rod. Yes, there are situations in VGC that it could be usable, but at the same time, you probably won't. Um, it's simply like that. You already got an immunity in Electric with Ground type in mind. Uh, Lightning Rod is not going to solve that. Uh, the only reason I can see that working is if somebody uses the likes of Soak, uh, like Lantern, and then go for um, Thunderbolt that works, but trust me, if you're a Lantern, you're probably off the surf anyway. So the combination itself seems really, really weird. Um, I, I do find it charming that it's Horn, it's a <laughs> electric intensifier, but that's about it. Um, sadly, a very, very black flustering ability, and the other ability is just as bad, which being, of course, Reckless. Uh, boost your, um, your damage output on the recall damage move by 20%. It sounds good on paper, but as stated before, we only got double edge basically. It's not gonna solve anything that the ground rock combination already are doing. So with that in mind, no. These abilities are really, really bad. And if I had to say if someone is a winner between these two, it's definitely Golem. Sturdy has a much, much more flexibility compared to Rhydon. It's very clear that Golem at least can do something as a lead, while Rhydon's abilities are a second basically hindrance for it. Basically they're there, but they're, you're not using Rhydon because of his abilities, you use it because of everything else. But as you guys know, a Pokemon is only as good as its move pool, and between these two, they share a whole lot. It's it's kind of funny how much they actually share. We're, we're still going to keep talking about they are being rivals because of that, but they actually have pretty much the same type of move pool. There are a few moves that are actually different in here, but with that in mind, we're going to first go over what they share, and then we're going to go over what makes them unique. So with that said, let's go over what they, of course, share. So first and foremost, Stabs. Earthquake, Stone Edge. That's it, that's all you need. They also need Rock Slide and Rock Blast. We're gonna on that with the likes of Bulldoze. Though that said, you really want your stat Edge Quake combination. Very, very good. Uh, outside of that, when it comes to offensive side, the Bogey Knights do Fire Punch and do Thunder Punch. And the uh, Hammer Arm is also an ability or an attacking move on it that can definitely be useful towards it. Outside of that, we have Stealth Rock, which are based on what defines these Pokemon the defensive threats that they are. Um, being able to set up rocks with rather ease, actually. They're probably one of the best Pokemon with that in mind. And outside of that, we have other filler moves, such as, of course, the light of Rock Polish, uh, which basically boosts its speed by two, which could be very useful, consider, of course, what a slow threat these two are. But other than that, I mean, we can talk about the learn both Flamethrower and Fire Blast and Roar, but these are basically filler moves for the defensive side, and trust me, honestly, here, that those are not as relevant here, but I want to mention them. There are also a few other moves in mind but yeah we're just gonna talk about the ones that matters uh, so with that in mind let's actually talk about what defines golem really now golem older years had gotten a few niches actually as the generation was going there actually have been differentiated with one another even for actually generation one what did define golem from the get-go was a learn explosion while explosion got in nerfed explosion is still a super viable option towards it you know it was a very very heavy damage output <laughs> well move basically, but as stated before generation 5, these moves actually having the defense before exploding. So we got it nerfed, it still is accessible as ever, but it is unfortunate definitely that it can't use it the same way anymore. It definitely was one of its defining feature, 
Now, outside of that, you actually get the likes of Heavy Slam and the Priority Move in Sucker Punch. These moves are definitely kind of good. Uh, heavy Slam primarily because it does deal with uh, other possible fairy shakes that want to come in towards it. They can definitely do heavy amount of damage. They also go for possible ice types. You don't want to capitalize on Stone Edge and want to hit them. Heavy Slam is an option here. Uh, outside of that, the Sucker Punch. This is only between these two that actually get priority, and it could actually be devastating for a lot of teams. While not a very, very heavy damage output damage, one really must take into consideration that we have 120 base attack. That Sucker Punch is gonna hurt no matter what, and it's a very, very cool thing that Golem gets. So that leaves us with Rhydon. Now, Rhydon is a very strange Pokemon indeed, considering the typing combination. Uh, I'm just gonna mention the strange move that it does get. It actually allows to Surf and Ice Beam. This should give you an indication that Rhydon's move pool are on the same level as the you know, King and Queen's move pool. It's extreme in so many ways. It actually gets Mega Horn first of all. It does lag, like I said, at the priority in Sucker Punch, but it gets Brutal Swing instead. It gets Small Star this generation to get with the likes of Iron Tail. And it does get Ice Punch and Avalanche, which are very strange move for, of course, a ground type in general. And as stated here, uh, between these Pokemon, what's going to define them is the damage output they can do, because the defensive role, I do believe they are pretty much even at what they were doing. But to some extent, actually, until Generation 5, that was actually the case. But in Generation 5, something happened. Something very, very strange indeed. Now, like I said, these two Pokemon were on par with one another. But in Generation 5, a little item called Eviolite was introduced. And um, trust me when I say this, this is the game changer between these two. And while this is making this matchup a little bit unfair, because if I let boost course a special defense and hits regular defense by 50% while that item is active, there are no way Golem can compare to this. And I am really sorry to say it. I do believe Golem has some strong initiatives, and I even go so far and say that between these two, I would say that Rhydon would have been the stronger case here due to leftovers given more recovery due to his fairly decent HP stat compared to Golem. Um, but this is no longer the case. While the weakness policy sturdy with Golem is a very, very strong thing and can do definitely do some heavy amount of damage, Golem only needs to get that Violite slapped on it and it's an immediate threat. Because if you don't hit it super effectively, well, you're not hitting it at all. And it's just very, very easy for me to say the ride on between these two are by far the better. Now that said, with, you know, without the Violite, I do believe they are an even match. Uh, the extra speed on Golem definitely makes it a bit more usable in my honest opinion. But we have the double dance here with Swords Dance in mind with Rhydon. So I think I would have clutched it to Rhydon anyway, but with the Violet in mind, it just, it's a different ballgame. Rhydon is actually defensive enough to actually be surpassing Rhyperior to some extent. And and that's um, that's scary. That's very scary. The only thing keeping them actually between another is a solid rock ability. That's the only reason I would believe that Rhyperior would... In, in some extent become better because Rhydon's, well, defense and special events are actually better. Um, there, there is no compare. Rhydon is an extremely good Pokemon. No matter what it is, it, it will surpass anyone. And I really love that about Epic Rhydon. It's a really, really cool Pokemon. I do like Golem too. And I really like the niches Golem is introducing. But between these two, as I stated here, Rhydon is simply better. So with that said, what do you guys think? And of course, join us on the next episode of Wigan Wookupon. These guys.